Hi and welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the FQ77, FQ36. So a, couple, a week or two ago I reviewed the FQ35. So I liked it that much, went and bought the 36, which is a mini version. And it really is mini. So, got the drone, the controller, phone clip, charger, some spare props. A screwdriver and some prop guards. You can see in the bottom prop guards. So, let's put that down there. You also get an instruction manual, which is actually not bad, but there isn't much to the manual because there isn't that much to do. So, let's have a look at the drone first. So, as you can see, if you watch the review for the 35, it's a miniature version. So, it's a mini um, Mavic, if you like. So, I don't know, I've ordered the Vizio Mini. So I'm going to review that probably next week and compare the two. I've lost one of the little brass things off the top. But. So I'm going to compare the two and we'll see which one's better. So I can tell you this much for now. This thing flies amazingly well. I've just flown it. It's about five miles an hour winds and you wouldn't even know it was outside. It really is nice. I had a feeling it would be because the, I love the way the FQ35 flew. What worried me a little bit with this, look how small this transmitter is. So on the transmitter you've got your off and on switch, you've got your speed switch, 3D flips, you've got headless mode, one key return, take off and land and emergency stop. So if you get one of these and you press the take off and land button and all it does is spin the motor as it's meant to do that, you have to press it twice to take off. Land just one press on the button. So let's just power it up. It's got a 650 milliamp hour 1S battery in the bottom and it plugs in there, it's micro lovely connector, very common battery so if you're buying this I'd probably buy it with just a one battery and just buy some others because they're so cheap let's just turn it on and bind the normal way so got nice bright front LEDs and a quite dull red one at the back now it's quite, it's quite grey today outside and I could see it quite well to be honest Surprisingly, the fronts are really good. They really are bright. It's got a tiltable camera. Okay, so let's just get to this straight away. You're going to get some flight footage at the end. There is no footage from the camera. I had bought this for £26. I did not buy this as a camera drone, so I'm not reviewing the camera. I know it's not good. So I'm not going to review the camera. I'm going to review the drone. I'm going to show you the app, so if you want to film on it, you can do. But I did not buy this to fly with a camera, and I'm not going to do that because I think... You buy the drone for £26, it flies really well, you're going to watch my review and if you think the camera's horrible you might be put off by the drone. Well that's fine if you want a camera drone but you should buy the drone for what it is and this is a cracking drone. And I think if you saw the video for it you might be put off a bit and that's a shame. Maybe the video has got a much better camera, we'll see you next week when it arrives. So the app it runs off is FYD FPV. I've never connected this, so let's see what it does, because I didn't fly it when I had the... Um, go, sorry, I'll have to connect the Wi-Fi first one. To... So let's connect the Wi-Fi first. And there you go, YD UFO is what you need. You can see that. Some glare on there. So you got the YD UFO. Tap to connect to that. Okay, it's connected. And then we have the FYD FPV app. You can fly this on your phone directly from the phone without the controller. If you've watched my channel a bit you know I would never do that. So if you hit the play button, let's go into the app. So you've got camera video, there you still go backwards, that's your rates, gyro mode, turn your sticks on and off and then I'm guessing there must be some settings there is there? okay so let me just get this in view so you can see this can you see that? it's not even great just looking at it in a still camera so that's why I'm not reviewing the app but it does work and the lag is not bad either look if you see I can't really see that but I'm not moving that I'm moving that about and as you can see it's not too bad at all. So yeah, it, do, it does, either with the camera on this, but, but I'm not reviewing the camera. So, 
I just wanted to show you the app so you know it does have one. It doesn't actually look a bad app. They're all very similar so these apps out there. You get a bit bored of them. In fact it's in Chinese isn't helping either. But it's new out so I'm guessing that if you can see that he's got Chinese writing but I don't know if it's because he's new out that he hasn't got it yet <coughs> but it really is a nice thing so as you can see the props are tiny they're very flexible it's got four brushed geared motors these things drop off every one of these seems to get a drop one off luckily you get spares but literally is as soon as I fly it one will come off at some point or I've just caught it when I brought it in here so yeah it's a really nice drone if you're buying it for the for the camera drone, I'd probably say not. But for 26 quid, it's probably all you're going to get in it. This is a cheap thing. I bought it from Banggood. It was on a deal, and I think the deal's still running. But it really is great for the money. So I'll leave you some footage of it flying. You'll see how nice it is. Have a fantastic weekend and get some flying done. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.